In this lecture, we will discuss about reaction that occurs in parallel. Let us say we have a reactant A. It gives B and C by two parallel path. Rate constant for first path is K1. For the second path is K2. Both are first order kinetics. We can write equation for production of B. For production of C, for decomposition of A, there are two paths by which A can be decomposed. One path is K1 into A, another path is K2 into A. So we can write So we have three equation We can solve for concentration of A, B and C at any time T Equation 1 and 2 are dependent equation. This side we have B and this side we have A. Similarly this side we have C and this side we have A. So we cannot solve for B if I does not know concentration of A. For B or C even now equation 3 is independent equation so it can be solved independently so let us try to solve this equation So we have assumed K1 plus K2 is equals to new constant and this is K effective. We can integrate both sides. Let us say initially we have been given at t is equals to 0 Concentration of A is A naught. Concentration of B is 0. And concentration of C is also 0. This means initially only A is present. So now we can integrate. When time is 0, A is A naught. When time is T, A is A T. So we can say A T is the concentration of A at any time T. So this is ln A a naught to a t. So 
so this will become upper limit minus lower limit So from here we can write concentration of A at any time T So AT is equals to A naught e to the power minus K effective into T So this is a concentration of A at any time T. Now we can use equation 1. That is dB by dt is equals to K1 times concentration of A. Concentration of A is known. A naught e to the power minus k effective into T. We can integrate this equation. Initially we have zero concentration of B at time t is equals to zero t is equals to t let us say we have concentration b t so we can integrate this side we will have concentration of b at any time t integration of e to the power minus x is e to the power minus x and divided by coefficient limit from 0 to t So this is K1, A0 K1, A0 K1. When we have T, when we have 0, So we can calculate concentration of B at any time T and this is equals to A naught K1. A naught is basically concentration of A at zero time. So this is concentration. We can multiply by minus sign. So one can remember for concentration of B at any time T, this is A naught K1 by K effective 1 minus e to the power minus K effective into T. Now we can solve equation 2 for concentration of C. If you see equation 1 and 2 are very similar only thing is in place of k1 now we have k2 in place of b now we have c so we can finally change the solution in place of b we will have c in place of k1 we will have k2 and other will remain same
So this is concentration of C at any time T. Now these two equations can be used to find ratio of concentration of B and C at any time T. So let us find concentration of B divided by concentration of C at any time T. So we have A naught K1 by K effective and here we have 1 minus e to the power minus K effective into T. A naught K2 K effective 1 minus e to the power minus K effective into T. So we can cancel these terms. So this ratio is constant that is K1 by K2. So this is true for any time because this is independent from time. So ratio of concentration of B and C is constant for all time. We can also find effective half-life So let us say for this reaction half-life is T1 For this reaction half-life is T2 Both are first order reaction So we can write T half is equals to ln 2 by K. So for first reaction we can write T1 is equals to ln 2 by K1. For second reaction T2 is equals to ln 2 by K2. We have said K effective that is K1 plus K2. So we have K effective is equals to K1 plus K2. Let us say effective half-life is T. Is T effective. So T effective is equals to ln 2 by K effective. Now we can use this expression that is K effective is equals to K1 plus K2. So from here we can write K1 is equals to ln 2 by T1. From here we can write K2 is equals to ln 2 by T2 and K effective is equals to ln 2 by T effective. So let us plug these values. So we will have 1 by T effective is equals to 1 by T1 plus 1 by T2. So this is the relation between half-life of 1, half-life of second and effective half-life. So in this lecture we discussed about parallel reactions. We found concentration of ABC at any time T, we also showed concentration of B and concentration of C. Ratio remains constant at any time. Finally, we calculated effective half-life 
that is 1 by t1 plus 1 by t2 is equals to 1 by t effective. 